Okay, here's another example of, of using the chain rule. Um, this is the most ex advanced example we've done so far. But see if you can do it. So remember, what we've said so far is the derivative of the outside, repeat the inside, times by the derivative of the inside. So see if you can do this problem. Maybe pause the video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Following my own advice, derivative of the outside, well, the sine is the outside of all of this. So the derivative of the, of the outside is cos. Repeat the inside. So the cos of the square root of 5x minus 3 times by the derivative of the inside. And now that is where things get a little bit interesting. I'm going to leave a big... The, deriv the inside is the square root of 5 minus... Uh, sorry, 5x minus 3. Well, this needs its own chain rule. This is the same as 5x minus 3 to the 1 half. So, so this is the inside of the original function, but now we're kind of stepping aside and trying to take this derivative. So we're trying to take the derivative of this because we need to take the derivative of the inside. Okay, so to do that, we need another chain rule. So derivative of the outside of this function is going to be 1 half, and then uh, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Okay, so repeat the, repeat the new inside, which is 5x minus 3, times by the derivative of the new inside, which is just 5. So you see there was actually two chain rules that happened in this one problem. So make sure you really understand this. Let me just review it one more time. Um, but make sure you really understand this so that, that way you'll be able to, to, to take the chain rule and, and use it on any derivative you could possibly encounter. Okay, so we start with our original function. We take the derivative of the outside. Fair enough. Easy. Repeat the inside. Again, easy. We repeated that whole inside. Now we have to take the derivative of the inside, which is this whole square root thing. But the derivative of the inside requires its own chain rule. So that's what we did. We said, okay, bring the 1 half down. Repeat the, in, the new inside which is this 5x minus 3, times by the derivative of the new inside, which is just 5. So you can see we actually did do some, we did a, a bunch of chaining. But uh, anyways, make sure that you understand this. I'll see you in the next video.